In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a work order in SIN 7. First of all, SIN 7 calls it a production job. So don't look for work order, look for production job. If you have any questions, comment below. There's going to be some links to some other videos at the end of this video. So if you want to see more videos like this one, subscribe and click on the link to the next video. So first of all, to create a work order in SIN 7, you go to this little icon that looks like an industrial building. Click on it and you'll see production jobs. You'll see a list of production jobs here or click on new production job right here. That'll take us to some new production jobs. Now in SIN 7 you can create a production job on the fly without a work order at all. If you need to build a custom work order for instance you can do it straight from this screen right here and select the make button and then add the items that go into that custom screen that custom work order okay so right there we've got a custom work order with make use use and use so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload a standard bill of material and you'll see that there's a little bit of a difference here so I'll enter in the product code that has previously been set up with a standard bill of material and then I'll come here and click right there and then select make new bomb from master and then that loads that whole thing up so once again it was the make new bomb from master link right there in this column now you may have noticed a little link at the top of this screen called load first level bomb if you click on that before you do anything else it won't do anything so let me show you the secret behind that link if we come down here and add a couple of other bills of material I'll put in a bill of material there a bill of material there and a bill of material there instead of clicking here and clicking on make new bomb for master over and over on each one you can simply just go up here and click load first level bombs and then now notice when we come back down here we've got these other bills of material automatically exploded now I, I messed with this one I kind of messed that one up so I'll just I'll fix that and put it in okay so that'll get our bills of material up and up and ready and loaded into the work order screen and each bill of material is its own work order right in the production job screen we can give this production job a name we could give it the customer name or a sales order name a sales order number and then a due date when we're planning on performing the work so we'll say we'll start performing the work next week and then click approve okay so now that's approved and that manufacturer order is in there or I should say production job is in there and we'll see SIN 7 automatically gave it an ID number or a production job number. If we scroll over here to the right, we see it has a due date as well. Now the next step will be to purchase inventory for this production job. We may be short on some of the raw material and we may need to go issue some purchase orders to fulfill this raw material. Now SIN 7 has some good tools to help you make the purchases you need to fulfill the demand for this new production job. So watch that on the next video.